around these parts, they call me PLC. That's uh, because I'm better at Lego than you. And it's Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. I got Zombie from Make It Blocks. 51 pieces for $1.25 at the local dollar store. Construction blocks. Um, does it say about, com yeah, compatibility. Compatible fits all leading brands. Charmin, check. Kool-Aid, check. You got some uh, Tyson chicken nuggets, it'll fit. So 51 pieces, six plus, pretty normal looking stuff. Construction blocks, there's another picture on there. Yeah, not, uh, not a whole lot to say. I'm going to guess that this big base plate piece is going to be the one with the printed uh, manufacturer information because there's always like a little bit of weird manufacturer information on these things. And, ooh. Ooh, a sticker. That's fun. They didn't print the man. They're just going to let me do that myself. And it looks like the minifigure's in his own bag completely disassembled. I absolutely despise having to assemble these things and I will say that's a point against make it blocks not a point for but the pieces um are uniform in color and I guess we'll pull them out and see how they feel let's see the instructions is pretty sparse but I like these little arrows those are cute and then it's telling me to put the guy together and put the sticker on him he does have his gun of course he does I think he's supposed to be a policeman can you tell me off of this can you guys yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking police, man. So we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, doesn't look like a challenging build. They do that gray out thing that I love, where they, like, after the step, but it's already mostly gray, so, like, you don't get much effect off of that. So, so let's start with the thing, and then we'll do, um... Jeez, that was harder than it needed to be. Okay, so... Um, oh, okay, no print on there. Have, have they gotten better? Have they not, do I not have a brick with a awkward print on it? Okay, cool. No, progress is progress, right? So, um, green piece goes here on the front. Oh, check the green one. No, it was the green one. There it is. There's our mark. Quality. So we'll put that facing forward so that we all know who made these wild, wild bricks. So, I didn't do any videoing for it, but I did visit the Legoland. Oh, interesting. Those are knockoff ingots, not um, tiles for some reason. And it looks like I've got three of them. No, one's a tile. So I'm guessing, based off this picture, Guessing that this is the this first step is those two ingots. Okay, so and then the tile will go on the, the gravestone. Anyway, so um, looks like we're doing that, and then we're doing like some little cheese wedges. Went to Legoland for um, their Halloween Bricktacular. These pieces are a little hard to put together. They are snapping, and I'll be honest, they're uh, they seem strong enough. This is not soft plastic. This is regular hard lego so it's interesting that they've got that going on but other than that seems pretty standard stuff you've got the divot instead of the logo of course which is whatever right I'm not the best at bake it make it blip rocks make it blocks but i am at lego so i think we can transfer those skills to something usable look at this this piece is still not down hmm. well all the praises i do give them but, uh, you know, oh, we weren't supposed to make a little temple, we were supposed to make a little bridges. Well, oh well, not undoing it now. Step two is this graded piece to simulate some words. It looks like one there, and then some one by one bricks. Very cool, put this on. And as I say, the colors are uniform, you know? They're not. You can clearly see that those are different colors, but, you know, again, for $1.25, I can overlook a fair amount of these things. And I will be the first one to say is that, um, snot brick, here's a headlight brick. Hmm. Headlight brick, there it is. It's called an angular brick in Lego. I don't know what they call it in fakings, but, you know. 
we out here? Alas. Okay, so this, this, we're doing all right. Anyway, so what I was saying was I do complain a fair amount about the pricing of Lego, and I really wish that Lego was in the dollar market with, uh, you know, accessory packs and stuff. Or even just, um, I'm not, I feel like we got an okay amount. I'm not going to say we don't have enough uh, poly bags, but just more variety in that. We got a fun stuff with dots. We did pretty good, I think, for a while. And then we kind of we kind of get away from that as we progress farther and farther from the from the dots, which mm, it's a shame. But flip this, and uh, oh, we're putting a jumper. Let's go on the top. I can see that in the picture, I suppose, if I had looked. Two of those butts, and then spin it around. Interesting. I don't know why we have to spin it around, but now. I do say that these are normal plastic. This is not. That's still soft plastic, so weird. Anyways, it's a spooky set. It's supposed to be hard to build, right? It's supposed to be bad, and everyone's supposed to look at it and be like, I don't know about this one, champions. Oh, no. Look at that. I'm supposed to put a second? Where did that go? Can you guys tell? I think it goes on. I think it goes on this one here, which is a choice. It goes on that there, and I don't think that's a good because I think that's hitting each other. I think that is hitting weird. Oh well. Tell me your favorite way to say, uh, forget it, we do ball. Okay, so it's something like that. Put those together. Put this one on there. Put that coming off at that angle. Well, it just feels bad. That feels bad and, and silly. Yeah, but, well, there it is. So, you know, you can't cut every corner, I suppose. We are using these uh, next build with these boys. One, two, three across, and then we put another three. It's weird that they would use those, but I guess it kind of gives a nice look to the base of this one. And then we're going to use uh, cheese wedges to go like that. One here. One more, I think. And then, yeah, so that's the snot brick. No, the snot brick goes on top. Okay, we got that. Do the one by three. Put the one by one tiles. They're grooved, which is interesting. You'd think that that could be a corner that could be cut. And we do that. We put that little wreath on it. It's nice. And uh, we have no extra pieces except for the gun, of course, which is going in the hand of the zombie policeman. Okay, so let's see here. <sighs> Big sigh. Let's put his head on first. His head's a little bobbly. Okay, let's try and do the sticker, shall we? Is there any way a child would be able to do this sticker in any meaningful way? I don't think there's a front or back. Wow. As if a factory did it itself. It's nice that they printed the vase for you, I suppose. So I'm going to guess we've got, yep, hip piece, which is absolutely... Horrendous. So we'll put that in first to give it something to hold on to. We'll stick the leg. The legs are fun because they have um, holes on both sides. Can that be picked up in the camera? So you can just put it on either one. Or potentially you could make a like a extender. He does have the Nazi helmet, don't he? Hmm. There's a weird like uh, Lego Nazi zombies trend in these. 
the things. It's got the two part arm. So there's a ball joint in the shoulder and the like wrist, but the wrist is like so tight that it only spins. It doesn't even, I don't know, is it supposed to? I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to honestly have a point of articulation there. Huh. Supposed to have a, yeah, he's supposed to have a gray arm. Oops. The gray arm goes on that side. Well, like I said, not a, uh, not a naked block professional, am I? That one didn't go so bad. So, not bad. Three little pieces of terrain, a piece of sticker paper, and uh, a little minifigure. And of course, uh, the minifigure, he looks a little short, maybe. He's a little stouter. His legs are definitely thick. Thick legs on this on this little man, but yeah. I think it's all right. I don't mind it too much. So, if I had to say, I would give this a rating. And um, yeah, whatever the likes on this video are out of twenty twenty five something, I don't know. So check that rating for yourself and comment it when you see this video because that'll be interesting and. You know, for comparison, we've got the Minecraft set out here in the bunker. So, one piece of terrain, two figures and an animal versus one figure and two pieces of terrain. I don't know. Buck 25. Steve. Come on, Steven. Stand up. I don't know. Five bucks. Buck 25. Hard to say because you're definitely getting a lot more bricks. I would say about a third of these bricks didn't feel great, so maybe you trash them. And the color match, again, is a little bit rough on those, so it's up to you, I guess, which one you'd say is a better value. But the spookiest thing of all is sharing this video with all of your friends. This part was a joke that I already made once, so you don't get the same joke. Instead, you get this new joke of me talking. Enjoy it. Anyways, uh, support your... Click, click the subscribe button and bell and share things and um, support your local Lego channel. Yeah, simple, right? See ya.